Let's see how it works. What happens when you scan an ID? After hearing about all the benefits passport readers can offer to your organization, you might be wondering how the device works in practice. What's the best way to start using such a device, even if you've never used one before? In this video, we will take you through the unboxing experience and show you a live demo. Hi, it's Drew here again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Osmond to scan, read, and verify ID documents within just seconds. Taking it out of the box is pretty cool too. Stay tuned for that, and if you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel right down here. Scanning and reading IDs. Let's see first the most exciting part, how Osmond scans an ID document. To demonstrate this, I can use any type of internationally accepted travel documents like passports, visas, are also sovereign ID documents, such as national ID cards, driver's licenses, etc. They all fit well onto Osmond's scanning window. How about reading a passport without any digital data? Just place the ID on the window and immediately it starts scanning. As you can see it here on the integrated OLED display, and it's done. Osmond is that fast. Now you have all the printed data digitally extracted plus the scanned images under various illuminations. Where would you like to check the results? Osmond shows its status on its OLED display so you will get immediate feedback while well, you can also use the accompanying software if you'd rather check the details on another device like a computer or tablet. And even on your smartphone. Here's mine, which has uh, just received the scanning results. This feature works with any of the network-enabled models. Osmond also has a contact chip reader that can read both contact and dual interface cards. To read the data stored in the contact chip, insert the card into the slot on the side of Osmond, and the data will be read out in the blink of an eye. Let's continue with a more complex scanning task reading and authenticating an e-passport, which has a digital RFID chip inside. Open it to its data page, place it on the scanner, and thanks to the hand-free scanning feature, I can do whatever else I want during the process as it doesn't need me to change its positioning. It comes in handy particularly when reading e-passports with RFID chips, a task which usually takes several seconds. It's done. The data is extracted, both the printed and digital, and the authenticity of the passport has been successfully verified. Let's take a closer look at the scanning process. Though the user experience for scanning is simple and quick, it is quite a thorough process. What's happening inside the system during these seconds, you might be wondering. Ready for some interesting insights? Well, first of all, if you place the ID on the scanner and it just does not recognize that a document is present, that's because it is smart enough to scan only when the document has been properly positioned to avoid any blurred images. The helpful integrated OLED display lets you know when the scanning has started. The scanning is actually a parallel process among multiple tasks, imaging, OCR, chip reading, and authentication, all optimized to run at the same time to minimize scanning speed. The device starts by taking images of the document using various illuminations. As soon as it has the infrared image, which is the ideal one for optical character recognition, the software starts extracting text, utilizing an OCR engine whose intelligence relies upon hundreds of thousands of ID documents to achieve an outstanding accuracy of 99.98% per character. Some of the text information is also used to open the RFID chip content. Now, the RFID is being read while the device takes further images and performs authentication as well. These parallel processes ensure that the scanning is performed in the shortest possible time. How does the system authenticate IDs? 
It relies on printed data, digital data, and various illumination sources. The result you get is an outcome summary of multiple checks. Using special illuminations like infrared and UV, Osmond checks the paper's material, ink, and security patterns using a library of genuine documents. It also performs data consistency checks between the printed and digital data and is also capable of checking minute details such as embossed tactile elements using edge light or detailed background graphics and microprints. You see, Osmond makes no compromise when it is about checking the authenticity of an ID. And the good news is that it is not rocket science to get such a system up and running.